What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin, and welcome back to my problems with this gaming generation. In this video, um, I know it has kind of been a, a day or two since I've done the last video. In this video, I wanted to talk about Xbox Live PSN outages, and you know, with importance of uh, connectivity to the internet. A lot of games are online. A lot of games are online only. Um, for instance, uh, Destiny, Evolve. A lot of those games are online only. So, you know, being able to connect on a consistent basis is important. And if it goes wrong, which more times than not in this generation, it has, um, then it's a problem. Especially it's a problem when it's a service you pay for. So, you, you know, you pay for such issues not to happen. Now, like maintenance or, uh, you know, things like that to improve the service. You know, that's understandable, but a lot of it hasn't been that. And, you know, they'll tell you it's that, but it really hasn't. Um, for instance, uh, I'm not on PS4, but I do know it's been well reported that PSN has been had this out of this Xbox Live. Don't let people fool you. I'm on, X I'm on the Xbox One all the time. And not necessarily the entire, you know, it being completely disconnected from the, you know, the Internet. There's times when the friend friends list doesn't work. Um, certain games don't work for whatever reason. Um, you can't connect to the store. Something like that. It's not completely being disconnected, but it's something important not working. Especially the friends list one. one. That has happened way too often. And I think it's because it's a separate app. Honestly, never mind. I can't even explain it. It just fucking happens a lot. A um, lot more than people want to want to tell you. Hell, a lot more than it's actually reported. Because you know, a lot of times it'll get reported and times it doesn't. Um, you know, cause it, the thing about it is it happens to certain people, but it happens to enough people for it to be a problem. Now, if it just happened to a few people, then it might be on their end or it might be just an isolated issue. Mm -mm, happens to a lot of people. And, I, you know, this was one of the main things I wanted to talk about. Um, I, you know, I actually had this topic, um, a couple of days ago before I did the other video, but I wanted to do that one first. Then I wanted to get to this one because this is an, um, another big issue. You know, because the services you pay for between forty to fifty dollars, and because a lot of times um, the reason I say that because we know Xbox Live is sixty and PSN is fifty. A lot of times people don't pay that much, but you know, because I, I will say around like December, November, somewhere around that time, I can get it for forty dollars. So it's. That's why I um, actually said for you, a lot of the really smart people get it then. So that way they can keep renewing it every single year, getting it around that time when it's on sale. PSN, I've seen it $40, $35, something like that. I've seen it pretty um, pretty cheap. But you, know, you have to look at it. It's still the service you pay for and you expect it to, when it's working, it's, you know, it's great. But too many times this generation has went out. Um, like I said, P PlayStation for because of uh, things that has happened in the past. Um, if you remember the hacking a few years back, they're gonna. There's a huge stigma. Whenever theirs go down, people they get criticized. You know, they get criticized really bad. <laughs> when it happens to Xbox, yeah, it's talked about, but they don't get criticized because you know Microsoft is known for having a good service. I don't give a shit. If it goes out, I don't care. I, I'm gonna talk about it. If it goes out, you know, for for instance, um, uh, if you know during Christmas, hell, before Christmas, Anonymous said we're gonna DDoS attack Xbox Live, PlayStation Network on Christmas. And guess what? Those fools still were able to do it. Maybe Sony, Microsoft didn't take them seriously. I mean, I'm hoping that they take them seriously. You know, any, well, those guys got caught. Any, uh. I hope they take any type of attack or threat of attack seriously. I mean, because a lot of people, I honestly think, you know, when that happened, because it was actually two or three days before they even got it back up working and everything functioning, for, you know, for a lot of people. And just think about it. You get a you know, new Xbox, new PlayStation, you know, new Xbox One, new, new PlayStation 4, and it's fucking up. You can't connect to the Internet. Hell, the Xbox... If you don't connect to the internet that first time to get that update, you can't do shit. And that's what happened to a lot of people. They couldn't even update the damn thing. Because when they got it, you know, it didn't work. Because well, the online connection, you know, they couldn't connect. 
to you know the servers. So hopefully they iron those out. I won't necessarily say that is a as big as a problem as some of these other ones because it's a it's a fixable problem. They just have to um, actually take, I guess, uh, when stuff like this happens or the threat of stuff like this happen. Uh, ho hopefully they take it serious. And I think they will. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a growing problem, especially like some of these other videos I've done and I'm gonna do. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as those, but I think it is a problem with. Each and you know, each and every day we, you know, online online centric games that I've already mentioned, you know, those come out and without connectivity, you just have a sixty dollar CD. It's just a sixty dollar CD that you, I guess you can look at because you can't do shit without it being connected to the internet. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, you know, do you are you a person that plays online games a lot? What do you think about uh? You know, how the problems that have happened with Xbox Live and PSN, like I said, you know they they haven't they haven't happened like a lot, but it's happened enough for it to be a problem. It's happened enough for it to be a problem. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Have you experienced any of these problems? If you're on the PS4, especially PS4 guys, um, you know, as I said, those report problems were reported, but a lot of times they don't get reported. So let me know. Um, have you experienced any of these or Xbox One, PS4? Of course, hit that thumbs up button or subscribe. I do have some more videos coming out. Um, I'm a, it's about 11, in, 11 at night, so I'll probably get some. I'm going to be up all, you know, probably around like 4 or 5 Eastern time. So I'm probably going to get another video out. Like I said, subscribe. Thanks for watching.